come back, we will sing hallelujah. When Jesus come back, we will sing hallelujah. When Jesus come back, we will sing hallelujah. We will sing hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. When Jesus come back, we will sing hallelujah. When Jesus come back, we will sing hallelujah. When Jesus come back, we will sing hallelujah. We will sing hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. When Jesus come back again, we will sing hallelujah. When Jesus come back again, we will sing hallelujah. When Jesus come back again, we will sing hallelujah. We will sing hallelujah. When Jesus come back, when Jesus come back, we will sing hallelujah. When Jesus come back, we will sing hallelujah. When Jesus come back, we will sing hallelujah. We will sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. When Jesus come back, we will sing hallelujah. When Jesus come back, we will sing hallelujah. When Jesus come back, we will sing hallelujah. We will sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Jehovah, too, as your servant. Father, Lord, I thank you for brothers and sisters who are watching now. Father, Lord, we are coming to you. Forgive us our sins, Daddy. We are repenting. We humble ourselves. We are repenting, Jehovah. Forgive us and wash us with the blood of Jesus. Father Lord, soak us with the blood of Jesus. Father Lord, cover us with the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Almighty, because you are God. You are the King of Kings. You are Jehovah El Shaddai, Jehovah Rapha. I thank you, Jehovah, for this midnight. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, for giving me this opportunity to worship you and to minister your work. Father Lord, I pray for brother and sister who are watching right now. It's be day time, it be night time. Father Lord, I pray for them. Father, you bless them in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I pray that you bless me too. In the name of Jesus. I pray daddy and say thank you for forgiveness. Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you for rubbing our names in the book of darkness, in the book of Satan, and writing our names in the book of life the book of eternal life father lord thank you for everything which you have been doing for us and even what you are doing for us right now and even what you have not doing for us i say thank you in the name of jesus father lord i pray in jesus name i rebuke any spirit which is not the spirit of the lord jesus christ i destroy it with the power of lord jesus christ father lord i command all the spirits of Satan, demonic spirits, spirit of devil worshippers, spirit of satanic witchcraft, voodoo voodoo, spirit of Jezebel for prostitutes, spirit of drunkenness, spirit of hateness, spirit of poorness, spirit of dead, spirit of destroyers. Father Lord, I rebuke all of them. I destroy them, I overcome them and break them and to throw them to hellfire. In the name of Jesus Christ, let all those spirits to burn and hellfire in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I pray that you open the heaven 
Open the doors of the heaven and the windows. Father, Lord, release your angels to surround us and our families and our children and to guard us. Father, Lord, be with us every time. It be daytime, it be nighttime. Father, Lord, we are praying because you are our father, you are our daddy. Thank you, my father, my Lord, my God. I thank you, Jehovah Jireh. Thank you so much, daddy. Father, Lord, this is end time. And I pray, Daddy, when the time comes, don't forget us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray and say thank you so much. I appreciate you, my Daddy. Thank you, Jehovah Jireh, for brothers and sisters again. Father, Lord, I pray for them in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I pray in the name of the Father and the name of the Son and the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. Father, Lord, I pray again. For the sickness, anybody who is not feeling well, is feeling pains in his body. The sickness which somebody can see or feel it or not to feel it is hiding. Father Lord, I pray for healness. Father Lord, anyone who is facing right now, when I'm praying Jehovah Jireh, Father Lord, you may touch them and heal them with your blood, Jesus, with your power, Jesus. Father Lord, give them healings. There is a brother who is facing. There is a, a sister who is facing. Maybe she's not feeling well or his family or his children. Father Lord, I pray that you give them healing from heaven direct to be healed in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father Lord, that they touch where they are not feeling well. And Father Lord, you touch them with your right hand, the strong one, the real one, the powerful one. Father Lord, give them healings. I pray for them to get healings in the name of Jesus. That sickness, any sickness, to go away and never come back, to be healed and never come back again in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, I pray in the name of the Father and the name of the Son and the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I worship you, Lord. I glorify your name. Thank you, my Father, my Lord, my God. Thank you, Lord, for giving me this opportunity again, Jehovah Jireh. My brothers, my sisters, in this moment, I just want to talk a word, yes, which it doesn't make me happy. And I know it doesn't make you too happy. It is a question. It is a question to, to sisters and brothers. Yeah. Mostly Christians. I just want to ask... Christians, when we are going to the church, yes, the church of God is a place which we have to respect that place. It's not a place for playing. It's not a place for short time. It's not a place for seducing each other. It's not a place for wickedness. It's a temple of God. It's a glorious place. In this earth, church is a glorious place, you know? When we go to church, we are going to worship Lord. We are going to hear the word of God. We are going to hear some preachings. We are going to pray. We are going to repent. We are going to meet brothers and sisters. But there is something I want to talk today. Hallelujah. Amen. There is something I want to talk today. My sisters, I will start with my sisters. Why? Many sisters in Christ, when they go to church, they don't want to wear modest, to wear elegant, to wear nice clothes, nice dresses. They are, even um, sometimes people, they, they complain in Europe, you know, and uh, everywhere when somebody go in the church, there are also some place somebody can go and change clothes because they say it's cold. They can wear some trousers. But even to make the worst, if they wear trousers, they wear something which is ink, which is tight. Yeah, something which is very tight. You know, everybody have a different shape. Yes, there are some shapes which even if you put a trouser as a woman, it will not show beautiful or nice. But you, because you will just walk, you will just feel that uh, eh, you are so beautiful and uh, whatever you are going to show the pastors or the uh, uh, the men in charge. Uh, the servants of God, how good you are. To wear some miniskirts, 
I am just asking because for me it is too much. You just wear a mini skirt. You are a big, big, big woman. You wear a mini skirt with your big, big legs, eh, or your slim, slim legs. You wear a mini skirt. I'm not judging you. I'm telling you. And you are going in the church to worship Lord. And even when you are in that church, you don't have peace. You are pulling that skirt down and down and down and down. Even if you want to bend, maybe something fall down to pick it. You cannot pick it. You will start to chichuma. They call it in Swahili kuchichuma. Like you are bending. You cannot even bend. I don't know how I can call it in English to do, describe it. You will feel ashamed. Why don't you put on a very nice skirt or a very nice dress? Nowadays, there are many models clothes. There are many nice clothes. If you dress on a long skirt or a long dress, you will look beautiful. Yes. But to wear this mini skirt, what do you think when you are going to the church? Moving from your house and you put on a mini skirt and you are saying you are going to church to worship God. To make the worst, you will go and sit in the front. To sit well, you cannot sit well. You will be opening your legs. Women's. May God help the women's. May God help us women's. Dress so nicely when you are going in the church. When you are going in the temple of God, dress so nicely. Nice, bl nice blouse, which it doesn't show your breast. Um, which it doesn't show the your arms of the hands. Your armpits, you know. Or a, a, a long skirt. Nice one. They are nice clothes. Look, some other churches, you can see them. They have long clothes. They have nice blouses. But my sister, what makes you to just put on a mini skirt, even in winter? Me, I see this one time I go in the church. Here yeah, in Germany, in Berlin. I saw women they are wearing mini skirts in church. And if we talk about that, people will say these people have preached until they are, their minds are not okay. No. We are okay. Because the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ, it's talking. Jesus Christ also don't want to see somebody with a mini skirt. You have nice clothes. When you go home, you will put on long clothes. But when you go to church, you put mini skirt. I'm talking about women. Eh. Yeah. Okay. There are so many ways to dress on. Put on a nice skirt. Put on a nice blouse. And put on a nice jacket and nice shoes. Short shoes, not so long like this. You know, the high heels, you cannot worship God. You cannot even jump. Don't lie. You, you cannot even jump because they are so high like this. Like this. How can I show it? I don't even know how I can show it. So, very long. And you are going to the church. Even in your own house when you are in the kitchen, you cannot put on that shoes. Let us respect God. Let us respect the temple of God. Women's in Christ. Let us try to change and dress so nicely. You like it or not, you have to change now because you are, you are a born again child of Christ. When you are born again, you are in the world, you are putting those things, you can leave them so that the, the, the people will know that before she was in the world, you are putting all those things because you are in, in another planet. But now because you are no more in that planet, you are just living in this world and you are not belong to this world. You are belong to heaven. You have you have to to to, to dress on differently, nicely. D dress on nice clothes. They are very nice clothes. Somebody can dress on. Yes, so that people they will differentiate somebody who is coming from the world and somebody who is in in Christ, born again. But if you dress on like a wall and you are saying that you are going to the church, it is like. What can I tell you? Can I tell you something? It's like you're going to disco. Even if you go to disco, you'll meet some women. They are wearing long clothes, long dresses. But you are a Christian child of God. You will put on mini skirt. You don't put nice dress. Even you are no different with those people of the world. Nobody knows if you are going to the church or nobody knows understand anything. My sister, this is what I was asking. I was saying it is too much for me. Can you change? Because you are a Christian. Can you change? To put on a nice dress to show Jesus that you love Jesus, to show Jesus that you are going to the church, please.
Let us help ourselves. You just put on and just look it. It is not nice. God bless you, my sister. Yeah, God bless you. Have a change so that people will know that you are a different person. You are not the person of that world. You are now a child of Christ. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Amen.